Alright, welcome back everybody. Welcome back. And at this time I got my special guest. You know, I got my longtime bro. You know, one of the hottest skaters in NYC. Dude is a comedian. He could you know he could be a comedian, funny. <laughs> Dude could rap. Now he also an entrepreneur. I got my boy Trophy T in the building. Gang gang, what's good everybody? What's up? What's up for those who's on live and what's up for those who aren't on live? Yes. How y'all doing? Yeah, how you, how you doing by the way, bro? I'm good, bro. I'm good, bro. Alright, good, you know. Let's get this you ready for the interview. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's get it started. All right, man. So what inspired you to get into skating? Uh, well, first of all, I grew up in Brooklyn, fucking Brooklyn, New York. So, you know, you know how it is a, a young black kid coming up in the, in the hood. You know, you really don't have that much, you know. So I kind of started off scootering and like doing stupid shit, like jumping off of rooftops or whatever. And then I just kind of like wanted a skateboard just because it was it was different. It was, you know, so. I finally got a skateboard and then I started riding it and I was like kind of a natural and I just loved it off the rip. So it just happened from there. It just went from there and I just wanted to be on my skateboard every single day, all the time, 24 seven, because it was a way for me to escape. It was a way for me to like get away from the bad shit that was going on in my life and just, you know, kind of like just be one with myself and my skating and that's it. So, you know. All right, nice bro. So who made the biggest impact that made you get into to, and to become a skater? Uh, the biggest impact, I would say, is myself. Like, self-motivation. Like, wanting to, like, watching all the other pros, like, out there that are just, like, Nigel Houston and Ryan Sheckler and, and, like, Chaz Ortiz and people like that. Like, watching those people come up and just growing up, be like, oh, man, I want to do that. I want to I wanna flip my board like that. I want to jump down shit like that because I'm already doing that anyway. Like, I'm already... You know, doing that as a kid, 16 years old, just jumping off the shit already. So, you know, I'm just like, fuck it, let's go for it. And, you know, just watching all those people just go for it, fall and get up and fall and get up and fall and get up over and over and over again. It just kind of like helped me not to give up, not to like, you know, feel discouraged and just go for it. And that kind of like helped me in life too. It kind of like just kind of grounded me and just be like, okay, if I can, if I can jump down a handrail and land on all four wheels or just land on my back and just get up and you know just keep going I can do this in life as well I can like I can take no from a job interview I can take no from you know from investors and people are trying to like I'm trying to get money from and shit like that like I can just be like no and I'm like okay well on to the next you know that's how you gotta go so you already know so keep pushing you know keep going exactly. hard you already know every man day, every day alright so I know you're from Brooklyn New York and you're living in New Jersey now. So what's yeah. the difference between living in Brooklyn and living in New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be here all night, y'all. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. Uh, it was a big change. It was a big, uh, it was a big step for me, kind of like because I'm actually not really. It wasn't really a big step because I've been other places besides Jersey, and you know. But New York is always my home. New York has been in my heart from the day I was born. So kind of like going to like through the changes of like leaving New York and like going to Jersey. It's just like, it's it's weird. It's like New York is just so fast paced and so high energy and it's everyone's just, you know, either either giving you a screw face or someone's being crazy or someone's, you know, just being themselves. It's always like organic. That's that's basically what New York is, straight organic. But going to Jersey, it's it's way more slower. It's way more quiet. It's more suburby lifestyle there, you know? It's just like, it's like you wake up, if you don't really have anything to do, if you didn't really plan on doing anything, you don't really do anything. So it's like, you know, it's kind of like challenging for me because my mind, I'm always like, I wake up and my mind's on 100, mm. you know? Because I'm from New York, like that's facts, how, facts, that's, facts. that's the way we were born and we're born and bred that way. Like, we just get up and we just want to go for the money. But being in Jersey, like everyone's just kind of like doing their own thing and kind of like, strung out on drugs and you know shit like that and I don't really get into that you know the only thing I do is smoke weed yes yes I do yes I do and I don't give a fuck who says what who cares I don't care I smoke weed and that's all I do like because it helps me it focuses me it grounds me so just like seeing that and like like it's normal like you see crackheads and shit out there and you're just like oh well that's normal because I'm from New York but like the age that it is it's like these kids these are kids mm. like they're young as hell like they're like like you know 18 19 you know not even in their 20s yet and they're just like already fucked up they're mm. already into that lifestyle and just like yo bro 
Like, if you only knew there's such a big world besides Jersey that mm -hmm. <laughs> you can go and explore, you know? But, you know, you get you get caught up in a small town lifestyle. You just literally get stuck in that. And you, you if you don't have the motivation and, and the the willpower to, like, bring yourself out of that and, like, pull yourself out of that, then you're, you're stuck. Mm. But, yeah. Yo, my man, your keys! <laughs> Trying to do something nice for people. We, He's we, literally uh, walking oh, without his oh, we, we live, so, y'all. We, we live. live. We are live. <laughs> we are live. We are live. Yeah, I, I can add this out. <laughs> Yes, yes. All right. So, so I know you are a fan of music and you used to be a part of our team, the Blaze Up Clip. <laughs> <laughs> old school, old school. Oh, man. So how do you feel about old school hip hop and today hip hop? All right, well, I have grew up around a bunch of old heads. So I'm not going to be the one to be like, oh, whew, excuse me, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I had to run to get that man his keys. He was, whew. But yeah, like like I said, I grew up around a bunch of old heads, so like, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, oh, I don't I don't fuck with the new music, I don't fuck with the new wave and blah blah blah, because I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't, because I do, like, I do. But it just depends on what it is. It depends mm -hmm. on you know like if it's good, if it if it's if it's knocking, if it's if I'm feeling it at that moment in time, like, like with me, like I'm a skateboarder, so I love music. Skateboarding and music go hand in hand. Mm. Like, if I'm trying to like skate something that's really fucking insane it's like crazy i need to have good music to like vibe to so like it doesn't matter what it is don't matter what type of genre it is i don't care like i listen to it all so like if it's trash i'm not gonna want to like i'm not motivated to like listen to it i don't want to listen to it anymore i want to turn it off it hurts my ears like literally like <laughs> like i'm a big big critic when it comes to like music like i just it depends on what you're saying it depends on the message that you're giving and it depends on like on top of that the beat you know the way you're flowing the way the, like literally the message that you're trying to give like mm. like for instance like Lil Pump I don't really like I know a lot of y'all like him but I'm sorry I don't really I don't really pop pills bro I don't pop pills at all so mm -hmm. that's not gonna be the type of music that I want to listen to exactly, so like exactly. that's in a better example of what I'm trying to say so but as for old school now <laughs> now don't let me get me started on old school now old school music is just then that's that old school music like it could be old school hip-hop it could be old school r&b it could mm. be old school like reggae like whatever mm. like i'm with it like i love it i love it all like like i can like literally I sit, I sit in the house and like my girl's mom is just like how do you know this song i'm like i listen to music i listen to a <laughs> lot a lot of music like i'm a 90s baby so everyone that i was around grew up in the 70s and 80s you know so that was that's when music was really music yes yeah, but agreed, you know agreed. but i'm a fan of it all i love all types of good music it doesn't have to be and when i say all types of music yes i mean all genres but i also mean different uh different cultures of music as well yeah. like i like i like dominican music i like puerto rican music i, I love reggaeton it's crazy and i can't speak a lick of spanish y'all at all <laughs> i can't speak a lick of spanish but i will fucking bump some reggaeton asap mm. Um, soca, like all that shit, bro. I, I, I listen to it all. Like, like I said, like even down to country. Like, I'll bump some country just because, <laughs> you know, like it's been a part of my life where I went to job corps, like, and that was kind of like the lifestyle that I was living. Like, I was mm. literally, like, in the middle of nowhere, and I had to like do like hard work, like fucking digging holes and like ground and shit like that, painting pools and doing stuff like that. So like that's all they played was like country music, mm. like work the working man music. That's what they call it. So <laughs> you know I listen to it all. So I love music. <laughs> all right, all right, good stuff. So what other projects do you have going on? All right, so I am the owner and founder of High Life Shades. For those who don't know. Oh, we we will get to that too in a minute. Okay, okay. For yeah, but I you know I, I put the ball out there. I'm sorry, Ken, my bad. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, um. I'm also working with my homie, uh, Wade Yates. He owns a brand that's in skateboarding universe known as uh, Trophy Grip Tape. Mm. And no, I do not own Trophy Grip Tape. Like a lot of people like get it mixed up because my nickname is Trophy T that they think that I own Trophy Grip Tape. So mm. I just got to put it out there right now. I do not own Trophy Grip Tape. I am just a very close homie. 
I am the Goon Squad. I've been there from the beginning, from day one. So that's why my name is Trophy T, because I've been there from day one. And I have a trophy tattoo, so. Right, nice, nice. Uh, what other projects I'm working on? Um, it's it's kind of just like random things, bro. Like, like I'm into like photography and videos and videography and stuff like that. Mm. So like, I love taking photos. I'm always taking photos. Uh, I love making videos. If you like go on my Instagram, you like you'll see like videos and just photos and stuff like that. Um, and that's about it. Like just working with kids. I work with the uh, HHF Foundation. Oh, nice, nice. So like we basically we look for kids that are in the skateboarding community and we look to see if like if like how their how their living environment is like if they can like we there's basically this camp that's called camp woodward it's a huge ass camp it's straight for action sports it's like bmxing like skateboarding whatever you name it like gymnastics volleyball like everything's there but you know like we we take the kids there at the end of the year so basically like that camp is really expensive like mm -hmm. it's crazy expensive and a lot of parents cannot afford to send their kids there and their kids want to go there that's basically where you go when you know you want to train for like you want to train to be a professional skateboarder or just to be better at skateboarding mm -hmm. so we basically put together this order this organization that was put together in memory of a famous skateboarder that was out here in new york city his name is harold hunter oh yeah i yeah, know him i remember him you I know him. and uh basically he died from drug overdose and stuff like that but basically we want to the foundation is basically keeping his memory alive the the good things about him the good core values that he carried in life like we try to teach those to the kids that are you know that underprivileged that you know don't get good grades in school but we kind of encourage them to like yo go to school like yo this is what you want like i know you want to skate for the rest of your life i know you want to just skateboard 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 but you kind of have to have like a background to like, fall back on you know so so that's what I'm working with now, and other than that, I'm just, you know, working on my brand and trying to better that and trying to just put myself out there more, you know, and see what happens with that. Yeah, you know, keep it up, bro. I feel you. Well, I thank you. I thank you. All right, so, so what I got here is, you know, high life shades. Yes, sir. And you, you know, got a little button in there for you, too. Uh, nice, nice. <laughs> I, nice. All right, so, Third. so what is how light shades, and what inspired you to get into entrepreneurship? Okay, so what inspired me basically was just kind of like my friend, like me and my friend, like Wade Yates. That's my homie. Um, we just like I've been, we've just been like back and forth, like skating for like 13 years now, and he started his brand Trophy Grip Tape, like almost eight years ago. It's mm. it's been out for a while. And um, basically, I just like watching him and like watching like things that he do and like how he like carefully kind of like just puts things into play and kind of like waits and sits and like very patient with his with his brand and he's just he just knows how to move you know and I kind of just like wanted to like follow in those footsteps but not directly like right yeah. behind him you know like like yo bro let me just code own it with you or you know I wanted yeah, to kind of yeah. like do my own thing mm. and not like piggyback off of him yeah 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 so it kind of like it kind of like literally dropped in like my lap bro like mm. i swear to god like me and him were talking about it like a few weeks ahead of time and we we're just like yo i was like yo bro i just really want to do something special like i don't know what i want to do but i want to do something besides you know being a skateboarder mm -hmm. and he's just like you know we'll figure it out and like literally three weeks later we were going to like film for this izu thing i don't know if you guys know what izu is but if you are into like uh techno music or you know just lights and all that other stuff that's what izu is about mm. um so basically we were filming a promo video for that and as we were on our way to to the promo video we're on the train and this lady has these like dope glasses on and like i've always been a fan of glasses sunglasses since i was like three years old mm. don't know why it's just an obsession of mine so i seen them I'm like oh those are dope but like, I guess like, you know, like I said, New York City, it's fast paced, you know, like everyone's rushing to get somewhere and not going anywhere really. So basically like she's rushing to get off the train and she drops like these, her, her glasses and I grab them and like run to get her to give them to her. And like, she just literally disappears because there's so many people. I literally lose her in the crowd. Mm. So I'm like, all right, I guess I keep them now. And they were kind of cool. They were really flexy and like, they were like mirrored and like, you know, like kind of like purplish, pinkish reddish kind of like tent mm. they were kind of cool so i kept them 
I had them for a while, and then, like, once they broke, I was just like, damn, bro, I need to, like, figure something out that I want to do. And I'm like, I really love sunglasses. And, like, talked it over with my boy, and we were just like, yo, you should just make a brand, bro, mm. out of sunglasses. You should just start your own sunglass brand. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, bro, let's do it. So I did my research, <laughs> lots and lots of research, and just kind of, like, went for it. Like, everyone asked me, like, yo, how do you do it? Like, like, what are your steps? You kind of just know what you have to do because you know what you want to do. And you kind of just do your little research into that. And instead of just, like, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, you just do it, bro. Yeah. Like, you say, fuck it. I don't care. I, I'm going to lose everything or I might not lose everything. Exactly. That's, that's but, exactly. But, like, you only shit. really exactly. lose everything if you don't try. Like, yeah, I tell everybody facts. that all the time. If you don't try, you automatically fail. Facts, facts. No matter what you do in life and, like, your career, your, you know, with your kids, your family, whatever it is, if you do not try, you fail because it's just, you know, you didn't put any effort into it. So what are you going to get out of it? Agree. agree. Nothing, you know? So that's, that's that, you know? Yeah, you got to take a risk. Yeah, you literally. Risk. So I just took a, I took a risk and like, I, I'm here today and I'm just, till this day, I'm just it. Like, I can't even believe what's going on. Like, I can't even believe like people like really want to buy, like what I'm like, what my vision is like from me you know like they want to they want to wear it they want to share it they want to you know and the whole message behind my brand is not just oh i'm gonna look cool you know or you know because i'm a stoner i'm fucking that's that's one of the reasons why i made you know sunglasses because <laughs> you know you don't want to walk around with fucking red eyes and like everybody like yo you smack mind your business mind your business that's all you guys said mind your business <laughs> so you know you throw some stunner shades on you know block that but honestly like the real message behind my brand is just basically like peace love and good vibes nice. and i feel like you're on my instagram which is you know follow instagram it's high life shades at h-i-l-y-f-e i had to be different and uh you know shades afterwards but like if you go on that and you look at it you'll be like wow like it it is the message like you can see like people are happy people are spreading the love like and that's what it is like you're happy when you when you feel comfortable. Yeah. You're happy when you look happy. You know what I'm saying? If you if you if you're comfortable how you look, you're like, yo, <laughs> y'all look good, bro. I'm about to go out to the club. I'm about to get a <laughs> shorty. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go land this job interview. I look good. I got the part. You know? And that's kind of the same thing with just with just your emotion. Like if you walk outside like the like the thing with like with colors, like people say if you wear a certain color, you kinda like adapt with that mood, you yeah. know? I feel like the same thing with your appearance. So, like, if I'm walking outside and I'm looking fly as hell and I'm happy, people are going to be like, yo, I fuck with your style, bro. You make me smile. Like, you know, like, I've, I've gotten people to walk up to me and be like, hey, bro, like, I fuck with your style. I really like your style. Like, you make me happy, bro. Like, I don't even know you from a hole in a wall. And that's, like, that's kind of, like, what I want to keep spreading. Like, nice, nice. peace, love, and good vibes. Literally. Yeah. Worldwide. <laughs> you know, bro, I support you, bro. You ain't know, I'm about well, to buy, buy, buy more pairs. Yes, you know, sir. Yes, sir. You know, yes, I got sir. you, bro. You know, the, you know, you go on www.highlifeshades.com. Again, that's H I L Y F E <laughs> Shades. <laughs> All right. So, what is your your next venture? Like, what is your dream venture? Like, what do you want to do next? Uh, What I really want to do next, I want, I want to take my brand to the next level. And when I say I want to take my brand, I want to take my brand and everyone who supports me, everyone who's been there since day one, and it's been such a short period of time, but a lot of you support me and what I'm doing. A lot of you support the brand and where the brand is going, and that is amazing to me. And I want to just take it to the next level. I want to, whatever that next level may be, because like every day I come up with a new idea. Every day I come up with a new adventure that I want to do. You know, and right now, like my biggest thing is I want to I want to make it out to California. I want to mm. make it out to California and I want to finish setting up shop in California. Nice, nice. But after I set up shop in California, I don't want I don't want to just stop there. You know, yeah. I want to keep going further and further and further. But also at the same time, everybody who had my back and who helped me get to where I am right now, I also want to bring them with me. Mm. Even if, even if it's not physically, but like, you know, just some, any way, shape or form, I want to bring everyone who like literally had my back up the ladder with me. No matter if it's what you, whatever you're doing, if you're skateboarding, if you're like doing fashion, if you're doing like photography, if you're like a model or whatever, like I want to be able to just like, yo, I got you. 
And like that's something that me and my tattoo artist like we're talking about. And like we have this vision where it's like if you're an artist, and an artist can mean you are doing anything. You are painting. You are a rapper. You are like anything that's just different and out of the ordinary. That is art. And like we want to kind of like do something about that. Like kind of showcase that and like help the people who like you know are in struggle because there's a lot of us who are artists out there who are just like yo I literally have no money mm -hmm. I literally have no place to go like but all I have is my art you know all I have is my like this is what I this is my passion this is what I want to do and this is all I have yes you know and I want to help people with that and just be like, yo. say to anybody that going the same route as you don't give up <laughs> like like Seriously, like that is my thing that like that's what I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't give up. Don't give up. Never let anyone discourage you. Never let anyone tell you like, nah, bro, I don't think that's a good idea. Because if you feel like you can do it, then do it. I am literally living proof. Like I've had nothing. Like I literally had nothing. I was on the streets, bro. <laughs> like, you know, like and a lot of people don't know that. Mm -hmm. But I was on the streets, but at the same time I was still pushing to be where I'm at right now. And like yeah, that may not be like fucking somewhere special, somewhere great, but it's it's better than where I was two years ago. Yeah. You know, and I feel so much better because I feel like I've worked hard to get where I'm at and I'm not gonna stop. So once you keep going, do not stop. That's all like like you have to keep going. You want it for you. No one else is gonna do it for you but you. So you kinda just gotta keep going. Keep up everything that you're doing, like <laughs> like there's no, I can't say anything else. Like it, you have to do it for you. Yes. Like no one else is gonna give you handouts. No one else is gonna like do anything for you. And and on top of that, you must always believe in yourself. Like never have doubt in what you're doing because if you have doubt, then other people are gonna have doubt. If you walk into a room with a hundred percent confidence, like yo, I got this. I'm about to blow all of y'all motherfucking minds right now. I bet hundred dollars you're gonna blow everyone's mind because you have that confidence that you're gonna do it and you're gonna do it. Like. I cannot stress that enough. I've been there and those who are skateboarders, like, you know what I'm talking about. You know, like, once you just go for it, you go for it. Like, you don't think about it too much. You don't worry about it too much. You just go for it. And that's the same thing that I want you guys to do in life. If you're starting your own brand or if you're like going for your goals and like trying to achieve something that you really, really feel passionate about, don't ever give up. Like, no matter what kind of wall you hit, don't ever give up. Yes. Knowledge right there, knowledge. Well, thank you, bro, for, my, for your time. You know, I, yeah. I appreciate you having me on the show. Thank I, you. I just want to say, I'm proud of you. You know, you, you, you know, I knew you for a long we've time. We've been, we've been, we've, we've gotten, we've been way back. Right, you know, since like two seats in the Cadillac, baby. Take a, take a Rob <laughs> Robeson day, you know, you know, my little High bro right here, my little bro right here, real, you know. For real. So I appreciate you keep doing your thing. Thank and, you, thank you. And you know, good scare everybody your plug, like where they can contact you and. Oh, you know, of course. Like well, um, on Facebook, it's T Morris Brown. You know, T E E Morris Brown. Cause I know a lot of you guys can't find me. Um, on Instagram, it's Trophy T. That's my personal one. My uh, business Instagram is High Life Shades. H I L Y F E S H A D E S. High Life Shades. Um, and the website is HighLifeShades.com. And uh, I also have my photography and video Instagram. Yes, I have like so many Instagrams, bro. It's insane. <laughs> So that Instagram is shot by underscore trophy T. So give all those things a follow. Hopefully you like it. If you don't, you know, just unfollow me. Because I'm not really stressing it. But I love you guys. So I love everyone who's showing support. I love everyone who's like doing a thing, doing their own thing and just doing it for them. You know? And I commend those who are doing it with the team because you cannot always do it by yourself Facts. and that's a fact that's another thing that i'm going to add to that you can't do it by yourself 100 percent. like i thought i can do this by myself and i was immediately immediately like i realized i was wrong i was horribly wrong like i could not do this by myself but the, like i said the people who are like helping me out and, and helping me climb up the ladder and be where i want to be like i want to bring everyone with me so that's what you guys have to do as well. And those who are in the HHF program, I love y'all. Shout out to y'all. Gang Corp, shout out to y'all. Trophy Grip Tape, shout out to you, my fool. Everybody, El Senor, like all the all the companies out there that are doing their thing, like I love y'all. Like local companies, local brands, always support your local brand. Because without that local brand, you probably wouldn't even be doing what you're doing in your city today. So support your local brands, shout out.
peace, love, good vibes worldwide. Yes. Thank you, and we'll be right back. Bow.